Hi, I'm Tomer Itan from Dell Technologies. In this demonstration video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the new PowerStore Vivo replication feature and perform a failover to a remote site using VMware Site Recovery Manager. PowerStore OS 3.0 is introducing end-to-end -end support for Vivo asynchronous replication with VMware Site Recovery Manager. This provides us with granular VM recovery of array-based replication, automated protection, and enhanced SPBM management to your recovery plans. One of the great things about Vivol is that all the workflows of SRM, test, cleanup, planned migration, disaster recovery, and reprotect, all of them function just the same with Vivols as they do it with array-based replication. With the integration of Vivols with Site Recovery Manager, we eliminated the need for SRA, Storage Replication Adapter, as the VASA provider now handle all the operations with the storage arrays. For the purpose of this demo, I deployed three Windows VMs in my production site running on a Parsto Vivol data store. These virtual machines will be replicated to my remote vSphere environment and remote Parsto cluster using the new Vivo replication feature. By connecting to my source PowerStore manager and navigating to the remote site's view, we can see that the remote PowerStore cluster is configured for block, Vivo, and Metro replication. To define the remote system RPO and alert threshold for the final replication session, a replication rule is required. We navigate to protection, protection policies, and replication rules to add a new replication rule. Existing rules on PowerStore can be used also for Vivo replication and shared between supported native replication technologies. For the purpose of this demo, I created a 5-minute RPO async replication rule and set the remote PowerStore cluster as the destination. When PowerStore is registered in the vCenter server, a data store specific rule for PowerStore is enabled. This allows to configure the custom replication rule for the storage policy. For replication configuration, replication rules are configured on PowerStore are available to select. I select the replication rule I created and make sure that my PowerStore Vivo data store is compatible. Next, we need to assign the policy to the virtual machines we want to protect by going to the disks and select that policy. During the assignment of the storage policy with Vivo replication, a replication group is required. Each protected Vivo must belong to a replication group. Once the virtual machine is configured with SPBM policy with the underlying PowerStore Vivo replication rule, the replication session is created on PowerStore. In addition to the visibility of capacity, VM performance, and storage performance, for each Vivo virtual machine, we can now see the replication status of that VM and perform related tasks. In addition, we can see very important live and history metrics about the replication session, such as bandwidth, remaining data, and more. In VMware Site Recovery Manager, there is no need for an SRA and storage mapping, as we are using the built-in VASA 3.0 provider. It is important to configure the SPBM policies to use the same policy in both sites. For the placeholder data store, there is no longer need for a dedicated VMFS data store. We can just use the same PowerStore Vivo data store in each site. The protection group configures the Vivo replication type and includes the protected protection groups. Replication groups were created during the assignment of the VMware SPBM policy to the Vivol-based virtual machines. One of the most important benefits that Vivol replication provides is the granularity to fail over a single virtual machine or a group of virtual machines and not all the virtual machines in a specific VMFS data store. The recovery plan in SRM can be created during new protection group wizard or separately and provides all functionality to test a failover or run a failover from production site to the R site. As you can see, the placeholder virtual machines have been created at the remote site. 
By navigating to the Remote Parser Manager, we can see the replicated vehicles of the three protected virtual machines as well as the associated storage policies on the right. VMware SRM allows us to run a test failover and simulate a DR scenario without impacting our production site. We navigate to our recovery plan and click on test. During a test failover, Parstore provides a writable snapshot of the virtual machine at the remote site and continues the replication in the background while the test VMs are created. By navigating to the vCenter, we can see that the three Windows VMs are up and running at the remote site. We can also see the new registered VMs in Parstore Manager at the remote Parstore cluster. By clicking on replication, we can see that replication is operating normally. The failover test is indicated on Parstore column in the failover test in progress is now set to yes. The cleanup task would destroy the test VMs and change the parser replication session into normal state. The writable snapshots with test data get deleted with that operation. Once the cleanup process is completed, the failover test is indicated on parser in column failover test in progress is set back to no. When running the recovery plan in SRM, there are two options, planned and unplanned failover. With parsed or vivals, the planned failover needs another sync operations before and after the VMs are stopped on production to get the most recent data for VMs at the remote site. After the failover operations are finished, the parser application session are in status failed over until the reprotect operation is run in SRM. After a recovery, the recovery site becomes the primary site, but the virtual machines are not protected yet. If the original protected site is operational, we can reverse the direction of the replication to use the original protected site as the new recovery site. At this stage, the recovery site VMs are up and running and the primary site VMs are powered off. During the reprotect process with parsed or vival based replication, Site Recovery Manager reverses the direction of the replication for each protected virtual machine and then forces synchronization of the vivals from the new protected site to the new recovery site. By navigating to Parstor Manager, we can see that the replication session started synchronizing again, and within a few seconds, the status has changed to operating normally, and our vival-based virtual machines are protected again. I really hope you find this demo useful, and thank you very much for watching.